Okay, so I have in um, my Vitamix about eight um, tomatoes from the vine. I have a little bit of ginger down here. Well, it's over here, actually. I don't know if you can see that. Some ginger over here and some garlic. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to puree this so that I can make some tomato sauce. Obviously, I need to kind of push this down some. So, let me turn it on again. Um, excuse me while I uh, push this down. <laughs> turn it off because the more I push it down I don't want my uh the tomatoes to oops I'm sorry if I'm like off camera I'm trying to do this with one hand I want my tomatoes to like sprout out through this open top so I'm gonna put the top back on there and um <laughs> enough for me I know you're like this does not look like tomato sauce but what happens is I just kind of give you what happens is once you cook it it kind of starts to turn like a really bright red so I'm just going to leave this for right now until um, I'm ready to uh, cook this I'm going to saute some peppers with it and some um, onion and then add my homemade pasta okay so I've um sauteed oops sorry I'm like totally falling up the camera. Okay, so um I added some olive oil to this pot and some uh, fresh chopped onions and celery and I threw in some of my um my herbs here. I dry out my own I buy fresh herbs and then just um dry them out myself and so I just added some of those in there and then I'm going to just take um my what is this? I just made some tomato sauce and I'm going to add it into there. Okay, so this is me adding in the tomato sauce. As you can see, I'm probably going to have to um, I have to pull this closer to me because I need some room to add okay here's my son at my feet with his bowl as soon as I stand at the stove he goes and gets his little bowl so that he can eat too okay so I'm just I'm pouring the rest of this in here and I'm just going to let this simmer I mean you actually don't have to cook it if um, you know you don't want to but I actually like to so I'm giving this a stir and I have an um, extra little jar that um, I made a couple of days ago so I may or may not add this depending on um, if I need this or not so let me go ahead and move this back onto the back burner and I'm going to turn my heat down to like a very low heat and Let's maybe stir that up a little bit more. And you'll kind of see after a little bit that the tomato sauce kind of, um, you know, instead of looking cloudy where it kind of turns into this kind of bright red color. So, and I'm going to um, add my lid as soon as I remove these stems from my fresh chopped herbs. So I'm going to add a lid and let that sit.